because you have to remember we're translating Arabic names from into the Bengali community and then some most people wasn't literate as well. So then they're getting someone to spell it and then yeah, my, they done it terrible. So my name is Ridwan. But it's actually spelled and pronounced differently man. It's not I get distracted easily, I'll talk to you about random stuff, right? So let me, let me stay focused. Okay. So we're talking about God, attributes of God. Yeah. Now could God starve to death? And well, you gave an interesting response. My response was, yeah. oh, hi, Uncle. <laughs> okay, that's my uncle. <laughs> um, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you not close? Huh? He's like, well, he's my uncle in church. So I oh, not blood uncle. Not blood uncle, but like, uncle okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, my Many response, have words. Huh? Many have some words. Do you? Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, we keep it civil with that. But there's a lot of contention, a lot of disagreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, go on. But for me, I personally believe that when God came in form of man, he subjected himself to being on the level of, of man. So he would be hungry, he would feel emotions. Well, God has emotions anyway. Um, he would be tempted. You know. so you emotions, like, I wouldn't necessarily use language like that because again you're you're pointing human elements to God but there and was God, human elements to Christ no, no, no. that's when he came to but earth God, God he is was subjected God, God is the God creator is yeah but even God has emotions it says it in the Bible when God was angry God is a jealous God he doesn't want to serve any other God besides him you know no, no, no. the thing is I think they those attributes like yeah I agree God, God feels those things right but to say that God has feelings like we need to the point the point I'm trying to come across is get across is we need to differentiate God from hu being a human being. 100%. Yeah? What I'm saying is God as God. Yeah. Has so then you're meaning. saying Jesus Christ. And Jesus, when Jesus came to earth, when God came into earth as form of man, yeah. he was subjected to everything that man came to be an example for men on earth. So he was subjected to these elements, right? That's fine. But was he less God? Was he less of God? I don't think he was less of God. But he then, chose. But I think he, he could choose. He could have cursed so anyone God, done God in can choose to be ignorant. What, to say he doesn't know? Not to know. Not to know. Because to say he doesn't know implies that he's lying. Like he knows, but mm. he's saying he doesn't know. Mm. Does that make sense? So That's Jesus so. Christ, he's affirming that he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. The angels don't know. The Father knows. And Trinity implies that, not implies, it's an article of faith that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, that they, they are one, they're the yeah. same. Yeah. So they're not different in any shape, way or form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if God doesn't know, the Son doesn't know. If the Son doesn't know, the Father, the Holy Spirit wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Because they're equal, they're the same. Mm -hmm. So when <laughs> Jesus Christ came onto earth, or you're saying, God incarnated then he became dependent because he needed food yeah he went through the experience of feeling hunger yes you're affirming this as, I am agreeing he did so God felt hunger once he subjected himself to everything a man would to be an example to man so yes. he had all the feelings all the inclinations a man had I'm sure he probably did but in terms to be an example, you have to lead by example. You can't lead by example if you don't experience the thing that so, man experiences. So, God felt desires towards women. I don't know about that bit. No, no, but he must. If he's 100%, if he's a human being and all men have desire for women. Mm -hmm. Then maybe he did. <laughs> I can't, I can't. But you're, 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 you're happy having this conversation saying that God um, can be ignorant. God can feel hunger. I didn't say God. God, I said Jesus Christ. I'm not saying, but you're I'm saying, saying when he subjected, so there's God and Jesus is God in the flesh, right? So when he becomes God in flesh, though he's all knowing, all empowering and all powerful, to be an example, to lead the blind, you have to experiencing what they're experiencing. I can only talk in terms of him being tempted, or being um, or starving and all these things in terms of saying you know him being lustful desiring all the things that man desired 
I can't go as far to say that because I don't know. There's only a certain limit of knowledge I know. So for me to speak further would be being ignorant and that's the whole point of me growing as a Christian. So I can only speak on what I know mm. and on what I personally believe. So <coughs> that's fine, I respect that. Yeah. So let's only affirm what's in the Bible. Right. Yeah. In fact, all right. Let's let's all right. So no no, because the thing is you're, you're making the claim Jesus Christ is, he subjected himself to everything that man did, everything he became, like a ma when man went through. So it's not a stretch to say these things because these are common things men go through. Yes, he was tempted the same way men were tempted, with women and lust and money and riches and all these things, yes. Did he succumb to the temptation? No. Okay. So that's why, I, even though, I don't see it anywhere in the Bible so far that I've read that he was lustful or desired women or anything like that. No, no, I don't think he did. Yeah, I don't. And I believe that he. I don't. Sorry, it's, not, it's not. It's not that. I don't. Sorry, let me let me clarify. That. It's not. I don't think he did. Uh -huh. It's. It doesn't mention that in. In the Bible. In the Bible. Yeah. I don't but if he's a hundred percent man, yeah. Then he's gonna automatically feel them desires, right. and then being the example that you claim he is, yeah. then he controlled himself. Exactly. So God saw something. Pink. Okay, yeah. God saw something pink and responded as in all oh my days, that's pink, but now I'm just gonna not act upon that desire. Yeah. And you're okay with that? Yes, why not? Because I'm saying that's that's belittling God. How is that belittling God? Because God, you cannot compare the creator with the creation. Right. But so, then if the creator himself says he's going to come onto the earth as the creation, as form of the creation. But then that, and then this, this is what becomes very problematic. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because if God came in as a creation, mm -hmm. then he stopped being God. He can never stop being God. God then the Father, how did, God the then how did he God become a man? He, you're saying he's a human carnation. Yeah, but we just said, no, I said he came on earth as Christ. Yeah, he sent, the Bible said he sent his son, but everything that the son has came from the father. So all the attributes of the father. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, I just got distracted. Sorry, start, start okay. again. So I'm saying God sent a son. Yeah. Everything that was within God was in Christ. Yeah, right, right. To be an example, the Holy Trinity makes one. So I believe that God, the father, God, the son is all together. The father, son included as being a form of God. Okay. So you just said everything that needs as an example, mm -hmm. but knowledge, God has all knowledge. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ didn't have all knowledge. Mm -hmm. God is all powerful. Yeah. Jesus Christ didn't have, wasn't all powerful. You alright, Daddy? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. How are you going to? I'm just going to. Don't be upset, Daddy. Yeah. And then going home. Serious? Where are you coming from, then? I came from Sainsbury's. It's not lying to you, right? No, 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 no. Just don't take a look at it. Go on. Yeah, yeah, go on. So I was saying that. I'll complete what I was saying, I'll do that. That Jesus wasn't all powerful. Yes. Jesus wasn't all knowing. Um, so then that, that contradicts the Trinity because right. they have to be equally good. Right. Because they're not free, they're not separate, right. they're the same. Right. That's that's what the Trinity teaches. I don't believe in the Trinity. Right. But that's so what the Trinity um, I believe that God Allah is almighty. Right. Yeah? Let's not get too caught up on the word Allah because even Jesus Christ uh, referred to him as said, I, I, It's Arabic. Being a Muslim, honestly, I believe between Islam and Christianity, the only difference is we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and people potentially believe that Jesus may be a prophet, if it's anything. Not, it's not even that, you know, you have to be honest. Mm -hmm. When you're saying Son of so God, like, what do you mean by that? Does it make sense? There's a lot of mental gymnastics that's taking place because um, Son of God, many times in the Bible, Jesus Christ is saying he's sent by God. Um, now, a few moments ago, he said Jesus Christ is a God incarnation. So it's like, language is very important, so which is it? So for me, I believe, because it says in the Bible that even God himself, when Jesus was baptized, he spoke from the heavens and said that this is my son who I am well pleased with, right? Also, I then believe that because he is your son, the same way we have attributes of our own parents. So, so can I just pause you for one second? Yeah. His son, which I'm well pleased with, right? Mm -hmm. My son, which I'm well pleased with. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, does God refer to anyone else as children of God or the sons of God 
I believe so, yes. So what's the difference? That when Jesus came, <laughs> he came to be an example. That's the son that God sent to vindicate everybody else. So there's a level to the son, to the child. Level, no, no, that's, that's fine, but there's, that's not implying divinity though. What do you mean? Because there's our children, there's people referred to prophets in the Bible, David, who are referred to as the child of God. The disciples were referred to as children of God, mm -hmm. right? But then even also, so I'm, I'm like not picking word for word, but in some Bible, no, that's fine. it did say that God said the one true son, my one true son. Do you know what I mean? So it depends you're, on... You're not going to find that verse. The one true son. It doesn't say that. Okay. Well, whether it's multiple sons or not... But no, you've already affirmed uh -huh. that there are references to other children in yeah, the Bible. Yeah, of course. Yeah? But, so, just because there's other children in the Bible, yes. it doesn't make them divine. So, just no, because not. Jesus Christ is, quote unquote, the son of God, mm -hmm. It doesn't make him any more divine than other people referred to as the child of God. But now then, you said he was specifically chosen yeah, to portray a message. Make you more divine if you're specifically chosen. The other ones were no, chosen. No, but you're adding, you're adding meaning to it. He's specifically chosen to uh, portray a specific message. And I don't have an issue with that. But that's what John the, ba the Baptist said, that when Jesus came to, to be baptised, like the rest of them all have been baptised, John the Baptist made a, a made Why a does note. Jesus Christ need to be baptised? Because if you are going to... If who's who's going to baptise God? Would you, because if Jesus, as I've said, if God sent Jesus to be an example of how to live and how to walk, you can only be an example by doing the things that are meant to be an example of. If Jesus had just come and, oh, I'm God, I'm this, I'm that, and done nothing else to kind of show or to make him relatable to man, to show man how, okay, this is how you live, this is how you walk, this is how you do things, when you're tempted, this is how you survive. How is he, how is anybody going to look at him and be like, okay, well, if Jesus did this, I can do this. God didn't come, God didn't have to do anything, he didn't have to do any of that, but to, because he loved his children, he sent a son to be an example to the earth. So he didn't have to be baptized, but because it was the way, he, he was baptized. So Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right Are you now, asking me questions to understand or just to tell me I'm wrong and convince me of otherwise? Because that's a different kind um, of conversation. Because I don't really like to converse to be just told I'm wrong. For understanding, mutual understanding, then that's different. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm asking questions to understand why you're coming from where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. yeah? My intention will be, my fundamental intention will be, if we leave this conversation mm -hmm. and you submit to God, but I'm, I'm ready to think yeah. what do you mean submit to God? I'm already a child of God. I already submit to God. So even now you're referring to yourself as a child of God? Yeah, I am a child of God. Are you not a child of Allah? No, 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 no. no. So, so what do you refer to yourself as? Um, slave, servant, someone who submits to God. Yeah, but you can submit to the Father as well. It doesn't make you a slave. No, no, but I don't the choose father, to call myself a slave to God. That's a different kind of relationship. I don't choose to be a slave. I choose to be a child. Mm -hmm. That when but I'm wrong or when I do things, he can correct me, he can help me. But I don't choose to be a slave. That's a different kind of connotation. That's kind of like, it's a bit more of a negative connotation to be a slave to, to a all being. Why would you want to be a slave to somebody who created you? Why wouldn't I? The thing is, we're all There's no love slaves. Sla we're, we're, I'm not. No, no, but then that, that, that's, that's the thing. I think slavery is from a humility. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So right now, God created us and deserves our obedience, 100%. our worship. Yeah? 100%. He now, deserves it, he desires it, but it doesn't make Children, you when you say you're the child of God, yeah. like, there's no humility there. You're just like, okay, who's my father? Like, yeah, 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 I'm the child. Don't, don't chat to me. No, 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 that's the way you've made it. As no, no, a that, that, true child, the same way when you have your biological parents on earth and you're a true child of your parents, you listen to your parents, you obey your parents, you revere your parents, you have respect for your parents, you want to make your parents proud. You don't, that's a rebellious, what you've just displayed is a rebellious child. No, no. And though we can be rebellious, but that's not what a child is necessarily. 
I don't want to get too caught up in the semantics of it. But you just I'm... said, oh, don't chat to me. That's not a child. When you're a baby, it's not, no, don't chat to me. There is a love between your parent and yourself. No, no, but you, a child could, though. Because right now, mm -hmm. you're, you're attributing yourself like, I'm from God. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm I part of God. By God. Yes, because I'm the child. Because you use that analogy yourself. Oh, Jesus, I don't say I'm part. I don't say I'm part. Of no, 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 no. Specifically yourself. Oh, You're like, right. oh, because um, um, you, you said something a few moments ago when you were that talking what? about. Um, your relationship with God, yes, with the he's Father. My father. I didn't yeah, say, see, there you go. Your father. father. He is my father. He is my father. He is my not my biological, but he is my father. He's the person who sent me here. He's the person that so gave I would, me life. So I would feel more comfortable with language like Lord. He is, for you already said, there's multiple things you call God, depending on your relationship yeah. with God. So now, I consider God Lord, I consider him Yahweh, I consider him my best friend, but I also consider him my father. That will never so neglect me. Now, That's a choice that I make. When it comes to the language of how I refer to God, mm -hmm. I use words, and attributes and names that God had chosen for himself. Okay, and that's fine, and I can I can call him that as well. That's all in the Bible. But personally, and this is the whole thing about this. I don't like. I don't do religion. I do personal faith. Because personally, to me, that's that's religion to me is a slavery mentality. Religion to me is like you have to obey these rules. You have to. There's no personal relationship between so you and God. Did, and did, I choose to have a personal relationship. Did Moses? Mm -hmm. Moses. Um, Abraham, Jesus, mm -hmm. were they not slaves of God, to God? I don't believe, they didn't call themselves slaves to God. Yeah. So, did Jesus, did, did, did Jesus did Christ, did Jesus Christ not prostrate put his forehead to the ground? Yes. Did he, did he not worship God a lot? Yes, but yeah. also, for example, if you want to talk about that, in culture we do that. That doesn't make me a slave. When I see my grandmas, I see my elders, someone I respect, I'm not a slave to them, but I will prostrate as a sign of respect. What, what does it mean to be a slave? To be a slave, I believe, to be owned by somebody, to be owned by somebody, to be, to, to have to, to have to do something. It's not because Does God not own you? God doesn't own me. Because if I decide, to, if today, if I decide that I don't want to be a Christian, I won't be a Christian. But so God doesn't present, own you? God doesn't own me. I can say he doesn't own me, he's my creator. He's the person who created me, but in terms of me So what do you own right now, yeah. your, your body? Does it belong to you or belongs to God? My body belongs to God. So does God not own choice. the body? Because that's a choice. If I decide to go and walk away from Christianity, and I say I want to come to um, Islam, that my body is no longer owned by God. My body is, belongs to somebody else. So theoretically, God doesn't own me. It's a choice of personal relationship so that I've decided to come Your body, come to God. your soul, mm -hmm. God created it. I believe He created it. Does it not have ownership of it? Well. So you could, you could. Yeah. As it stands, uh, again, no. again, let, let, let. It's, cause it, whatever you say. Let, let's leave this. To, let, let, let's leave this to one second. Okay. For me, this isn't the fundamentals of the conversation. Okay. So what's the fundamentals of the conversation? The fundamentals of the conversation is. God is a jealous God. Yes. Worship none but God alone. I believe, yes. Yeah. So now, how did you get into the Trinity? Because right now, when you worship... Because um, the Trinity makes one, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's all but you're not, worship, you're not worshipping God alone. You're worshipping the worship, Holy Spirit. No, no, no. That's, that's, I don't worship Jesus. Okay. I don't use Jesus as an example. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm trying to be like so Christ. So you don't you don't pray to Jesus. I don't pray to Jesus. I pray to God. Okay. So you don't. I don't pray. call. Oh, in I speak in the name of Jesus, but I don't call on. Oh, Jesus, um, forgive me for my sins. No, no, no. I call on God, the Holy Spirit. I don't say I, I pray to the Holy Spirit. Why not? Why not? Because theoretically, God is the main, and the other two all work through with Him. All work with Him. Jesus. Does God need the other two? Does God need the other two? No, because when God created the world, He didn't create. But you're, you're dividing these. You're dividing into three. Yes, the I Trinity am. cannot be divided. It's one. one. That's the whole purpose of the Trinity. Is one. They make up one, right? When God created the world, so it's three, it's three pieces. When you put it together, you've got one God. No, 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 no. I'm saying when you, when you're talking about it, they all are one. But when you're talking about it and talking about in terms of references and breaking it down. I can't talk about Jesus, I can't talk about the Holy Spirit, I talk about God at the same time. Yes, they are one, but if I'm talking about God, I'm talking about God. If I'm talking about who created me, God created me. If I'm talking about person I'm living like, 
is to be like Christ because Christ is what God, Christ is who God came down as to show man how to live. So you can be and like I'm God. I'm talking about I need to be, I'm like, I'm not, I can never be like God because it's only God. No, 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 but Jesus Christ is the human uh, manifestation. What do you call it? Carnation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is that not a big challenge for us to be like God? To be like God. Well, if, actually, if, no, true. If God, no, no, that, if, at the end of the day, then yes, because it said, let us make man in our own image. So if I'm meant to, I'm meant to be how God is. No, no, because you... No, but it does, does it not say, let us make man in our own image? Is that not? Again, I don't want to dilute the conversation. No, but I'm, 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 acknowledge, I'm acknowledging what you're saying. If I said if I want to be like God, then yes, because God wants me to be like yeah. Him. I, I, I'm touching on a previous point. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm allowing you, not allowing you to speak, I'm listening to you. Does okay. it make sense? And then you, you dwell on a lot of points and then I want to like go back to okay, a few on. key points. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that look, God has these desires because mm -hmm. he's like a man mm -hmm. and then but he chooses not to act upon it because right. the perfect example but right. then if i don't act upon my ex desires right. someone could argue that oh uh, that's because i'm not like god what do you mean you god god like god, god can control his desires right so you yeah? should be able to control yours Is that not but like i'm not like god, god. does it make sense but that's the whole point of so you you asked me a question i'm like god that, 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 that's, the, that's one of the fundamental difference because mm -hmm. you ask like what do Muslims believe we oh, okay. believe that um, God mm -hmm. Allah mm -hmm. um, and I said the name okay. isn't very important right mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an attribute of God. like it's how it's one of the names God shows in Allah yeah? Yeah. so I'm going to say for the sake of argument God yes. yeah? I'm just going to say Allah for the sake no, of argument <laughs> Allah. Allah right so that Allah because um, the reason I say that is because you can't make Allah into proofs. Yeah? You can't put gender into Allah. Yeah? So I feel more comfortable. Okay. So now Allah um, sent men chosen by God, prophets and messengers, right? who act as perfect examples. Yeah? So then they're not angels. Yeah? They're not like God incarnate. They're literally men amongst men chosen by God yes. to articulate and be example of a of the deen of the religion of the right. complete way of life yes. so when we do something it's like we have examples mm -hmm. yeah? and even going back to the core element of what we're talking about like even jesus christ he never claimed divinity mm -hmm. he never asked anyone to worship him as god yeah of course yeah? No but you're saying yeah of course but then, is then that something he should affirm if he's what you believe he is? Wait, so I should I should affirm what? He should have affirmed what you believe. But you're affirming that. No, he didn't. He never claimed these things. That he never claims that he's God. Yeah. No, but he, yeah, but he does at points. He says, I like am what? the one. I am the one. When they were building a temple, why are you building? Why are you selling things in my name? He's talking about himself. He is the... As I said, he comes to God, he comes to earth as man, he's talking about himself. Say, say, say that again, he so affirmed I'm saying, his God. He affirmed himself as God in, moments, in, the, in the moments in the Bible. Where? For example, are you asking me for scripture? To, to the best okay. ability. To the best ability, yeah. for example, when he came and destroyed the temple, yeah. um, um, when he came, when all of them were also saying, when he was praying to God or whatever for his passing, and he Who said, was praying to God? Jesus. Because Jesus still acknowledged his father. And I know why you're trying to possibly be, but you ain't going to get me like that. Even you though he's said praying, it. I know, because even though he does call God his father, I still believe, no, sorry, it's not I still believe. Even though he calls God his father, God imprinted himself within Christ and came into earth as a man. And that is what the word says, and that is what I believe. Are you always shaking your head to because th these are all your inferences, does it make okay, sense? Yes. Cause but isn't that isn't that the whole point of faith is about inferences and growing? No. Um, faith is you believe, mm -hmm. but God can't expect you to believe something which makes no sense. Says then, who? Says you? It doesn't make sense to you. Because right now, God. No, no, no. Would God expect you to believe something that makes no sense? But faith doesn't. Faith is beyond. Faith is beyond what the eyes can see or what knowledge tells you. Or what no, you can like believe in the unseen. Right. That's faith. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to believe something with no premise, no, no kind of logics to it, it's like 
you don't apply that to your day-to-day -day basis. You, you've, never, you've never gone to sleep uh -huh. where you have work or college or uni uh -huh. and not set your alarm. Okay, but this is, but that's, but faith And he says, I'll have faith. Yeah, but faith is nothing worldly. Faith is beyond worldly things you will do as a worldly person. Setting an alarm is such a minuscule, you can, you can go to sleep and just hope that you'll wake up. And sometimes no, you no, do have just faith, wake up. Have, 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 have faith, faith that I'll wake but, up. But you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, yeah, but you don't do that though. It doesn't sometimes happen. you can. But you don't do that. No, so I I'm don't. saying, why not? Because it's important for you to not miss that flight. Okay. Has, has there ever been a time where you got a flight and you're like, Sati, I'm going to have faith. I'm not going to set my alarms. Okay. But you don't do that. Right, but there's also been times, let's for example, when you know you have an exam tomorrow and you don't prepare and somehow you just know the answers, right? There's no, no, also no, no, been a time, no, 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 no. like you can use like no, 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 logical no, no, no. examples, but there, there's also exceptions. How, so, but who so there, 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 there's, there's exceptions? No, no, because you're doing it. If you, What do you do consistently? You consistently believe in God. Yes. Yep. Right. So now, if God created logic and reason, Okay. Yeah. And then now when it comes to knowing God, you're not allowed to use your logic and reason that God's given some, you. God's giving you logic and reason, but there's some things that you would not know. There's some things he doesn't give all the answers to everything. No, no, no. I'm not saying having all of knowledge. Okay. Yeah. I concede. Of course there are some things you won't know. Right. Yeah. But now to say that look, God is uh, Jesus Christ is God, and but He never claimed to be God. He never said it. Um, in fact, He's saying I was sent by God. Yeah. He never said Trinity or Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. They're um, they are three, but they are one. Um, he's praying to God. This all ties in with the Islamic narrative. Yeah. But then you're using your he's faith. Son of God. You're using your faith. Uh -huh. But yeah. he's the son of God. Are you going to acknowledge that he's the son of God or also because he did say, God did say, this is my Again, son. Let, let, I, let, let's, no, no, no. Because let's every, not dilute it. No, no, no. Because every time I make a point, you're saying, let's not dilute it. But go, if go, you want to say that. You're making a separate point, but go on, go on. That's listen. fine. You said, he said, he's the one that said he's sent by God. Yeah. You said, he said all these things, right? Yeah. But the, the word also says that it says that God himself yeah. said that this is my son, who I am most pleased with. So he's the son of God, correct? No. Again. You didn't answer if it's correct or not correct. That means I have to affirm if I believe in the Bible, if it's been perfectly preserved, right. the language is revealed in. Like, but how can you pick? So, but what you use yeah. came, all the things you're telling me came from the Bible. So for you to use things to me from the Bible is exactly the same as you're affirming it. You can't use it no, no, no. to let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me and also not believe something else I can. said. And I'll tell you how I do that. How can you do that? Okay. In Islam, when it comes to the Bible, right, mm -hmm. and other religious scriptures, mm -hmm. if it affirms what the Quran teaches, we accept it to be the truth. Okay. Yeah. So in the if Quran, it contradicts said, it, if it contradicts it, we reject it. Okay. So yeah. in the in the Quran, it says that it says all the same things that you said. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And if it's ambiguous, we neither affirm or deny it. Okay. Yeah. So right now, um, I don't believe the Bible is the perfect unchanged word of God. There's elements of truth, but a lot of man-made elements have gone into it. Yeah. So when you're saying that. Because I don't want to like um, butt heads with you and challenge you and say, oh, da, da, da. so I said to you that, look, you believe that the Bible teaches he's the son of God. Yes. But the Bible teaches there are other children of God. Yes. As a Muslim, I wouldn't use that language. The Quran doesn't use that language. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So because I don't want to come across argumentative, mm -hmm. I'm not challenging you on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you that you even there's that lapses in the Bible where it's describing other people as children of God. Okay. So even now you're saying, do I affirm that? Um, he's referred to as a child of God. God chose him as a child. What did you say, sorry? What was the quote I you said gave? that this is, my, this is my son who I'm well pleased with. My son who I'm well pleased with, right? But then there are other elements where there are other children of God. So that doesn't make him divine. Because him being a child of God doesn't make him God. Right. Yeah? So I'm saying now, I could even use that, put that on my scale and say that, look, he's not referred to as God. 
from your belief is referred to as son of God. So I'm saying the fundamental difference is what, uh, are we seeing for Muslim to enter paradise, for a Christian to enter paradise, yeah. this is what the Bible teaches us all, that they can't make, uh, they can't worship none but God alone. Yeah. Now, uh, our reference for this. Wait, are you, wait, sorry, I just got caught. What did you say? Muslim. Muslims believe to enter paradise, we can't worship God, none but God alone. Okay. Christianity teaches we can't worship none but God alone. Okay. Even Jesus Christ too, yeah. we worship none but God alone. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, at that point, it would have been perfect for Jesus Christ to say, but well, you can worship me because I'm God incarnate. Or you no, can work. No, no, no. But Jesus, Jesus never said that. That's my point. Yeah, but I'm saying, but if Jesus didn't say that, why would I not do that? I mean, why would I do that? If but Jesus that's what said, you're doing, though. Because you're doing something Jesus Christ didn't do. What, like what? Um, claim, we're claiming that Jesus Christ is God incarnate, where he never I made said, that. I said, I said. God came to earth, yeah, as to be an example. Jesus Christ never said that either. That what? That God came to earth? Yes. Maybe my words are wrong. I think, I think so maybe I'm choosing the wrong. Hi, hey, what? You're right. Christian? I am a Christian. Okay. So. I'm showing the light. Pardon? Showing him the light. Well, I'm showing myself the light, but obviously I'm going back and forth. You have to talk and discuss things. So I believe that God. Came on up, he sent he sent Jesus, right? Yeah. He came through Christ to be an example for other Christians on how to live. Now, even everything, regardless of how you articulate, right. this is not um, the narrative of the Bible. That's not what Jesus Christ said. What did Jesus Christ say? But no, he's not saying any of the language you're using. He's not using yeah, any. But I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not speaking directly Luke, or quoting from the Bible. I'm not, not, even per, not, not even in meaning. Okay. Not, not even in meaning. Meaning. Right, so what, so what is it I'm, I say, I'm saying that's wrong? There's nothing you have said, regardless of verbatim, word for word. I'm not even claiming that, yeah? Right. I'm saying that even in meaning, Jesus Christ never... What's the meaning? That um, God came through Jesus. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, if you want to say um, Jesus Christ was a guidance, that's fine. But then that's not attributing anything divine to Jesus. He is divine. If, if he's an example of how Christians are meant to live on earth, he's, if he's the only example that was sent, there has to be a differentiation between the other signs and the other prophets. If there's what, what is the differentiation? Because um, Abraham, uh -huh. yeah, he was a friend of God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Son of God. And Son of this, gen God. this, ge this gentleman would even call him a son of God. Okay. I mean, David is son of God. He's a son of God. And he's also a friend of God, just like David. Even though David does terrible things, because of David's heart, God said he is a son and also a friend. Yeah. David, David. David sent man to go war and whatever else. So even though it's causing him to do wrong, his heart was pure and half kind heart. He do things out of the love of God. So God called him his friend. Did no. Even Satan says Jesus is the son of David, where Jesus is, you know, the Messiah, Christ, God represents himself to um, Jesus. Let me finish Christ. this conversation, sir, and then we'll, I'm happy to have a conversation with you, sir. conversation got to end soon. Yeah, no, 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 because, no. okay, how are you going to convince me? I don't need to convince you, that's not my job. <laughs> if that's what we're getting at, yeah. no, that's no, no, my, because that's I'm not, of, right. that's my, that's my one thing about why I, my walk with God and my relationship with God, what I interpret from the Bible, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to have all the answers. So even with the things you're saying, I'm definitely gonna go back and read the Bible and, and look for some things and check up on myself. But I'm not, my job is not to convince you. My job is to live my life as an example. The same way Jesus lives as an example and because of the example he led. Are you convinced? Am I convinced yeah. that what? What you said is the truth. That he's the truth. What you've said is the truth. I do believe it's the truth. Then Whether articulate that to me. <laughs> that's the thing. Whether I can verbalize it or not, some things are hard. Ba based on what? Have, is it just something, is it a feeling based you on have? The feeling based on the things I've read. Have I read everything? No. Do I so know what, what, everything? So, what have you read that's made what you feel I've that your to, position is true? What I've said to you, when, when God said, This is my one true son. But then, have Jesus, I not convinced you, sorry for uh -huh. interrupting you, 
that one, tr one, one, true son, one true son, mm -hmm. yeah, that I'm pleased with, that doesn't make him God or give him any divine attributes. He doesn't give him a divine entrance. Divine attributes. Divine attributes. Because the thing is, because look, but let's ignore Christ everything. Let's ignore John everything. Baptist but. said that Jesus was the one that's going to come and vindicate, basically. That's not the word he used, but that's what I'm going to yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. If, if John the Baptist even said that Jesus was the one that was going to come and vindicate man on earth, does that not make him divine? Or give him divine attributes? No, because it's not it's not categorical, it's not clear. Firstly, so I, I haven't I haven't I haven't even gone into like who's John the Baptist. My yeah. point is why do you need to quote your strongest argument thus far is no, 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 my strongest that's not my strongest argument. My strongest argument is based on how I feel, based on the things I've read and based on But the you haven't quoted yeah, but, you but that, that's your one verse you've yeah, got. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You've asked. No 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 my, my, my point is your what what sorry. What convinces you doesn't need to convince me. Right. But I just want to know that you've laid on the plate okay, everything that convinces what, you and, that and that's, that's it. That's, that's, all no, no, that, 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 that's fine. That's all I need to convince me, one. Two, also based on my personal relationship with God. If this is what my personal relationship with God is, the same way you're being a slave to Allah, all the things you've read, read in all the things you've read in the Quran, that's based, that's that's what's impacted your personal, I'm gonna call it relationship, your personal relationship with Allah. The same thing for me. So it's not the I same because I haven't I haven't told you what, what what's made me But that's the thing, whatever's made you like Would you that, like not, would you like me to you tell you? You can tell me. Yeah. I don't have that much time but you can. Yeah. No, no, very 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 quickly for me, um, God is perfect. Okay, yes. Um, God's names and attributes are perfect. Yes. God's message is perfect. Yes. God's scripture is perfect. Yes. Yeah, the Quran. God's script has been um, perfectly preserved. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, those are the elements that help me to affirm that the message from the Prophet Muhammad, the message from God, the message from the Quran is the truth. Does that make sense? Because Allah um, says Allah is going to protect the book, the Quran, yeah, um, from corruption. The Bible doesn't make that claim. Yeah? Um, the Quran claims that it's being perfectly preserved. That Allah is going to perfectly preserve it. Allah claims that um, the book where there's no doubt, there's no crookedness. Does that make sense? So those elements. So to me, when I open up the Quran and I find no discrepancies, no mistakes, then it makes me believe that not believe it what affirms. Makes you, what, sorry, I'm not, I'm no, not no, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry. What makes you believe that there's no mistakes? I'm not saying there are. No, no, You're that's saying, fine. What makes you believe in what you're reading that there's no mistakes? Because there are no mistakes. See, Does you're sense? saying, no, but you just said because there are. I can say because Jesus is God. Like, do you know what no, I mean? No, 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 no. What makes you believe okay. that there are no mistakes? Okay. When it talks about history, it gets it right. Is The Prophet Muhammad is an illiterate man in the desert, has the information about history that he shouldn't have known. Okay. Yeah? Prophecies in the Quran. So it prophesizes things that happened. Yeah. Um, it that talks of in the Bible also. Yeah. Prophecies in the Bible that also happens. Yeah. Like I don't know, mistakes. Yeah. If there, if there's no mistakes, there's no errors. Does it make sense? So now um, there's no places where the Quran says one thing here and something different somewhere else. There's there, there's no like man-made elements gone into it. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean there's no man-made elements gone into the Quran? Who wrote the Quran? Um, it is from an oral. It's based man-made elements, as in it's been preserved by man, yeah, for oral tradition of memorization. But it's not like um, someone added in a chapter. Someone said, "Oh, let's change this bit. Let's add that bit." Because in a, you can Google it yourself. BBC done an article in regards to how they've got chapters of the Quran that's been carbon dated, yeah, in, um, so it's in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So they've carbon dated it to check that these um, chapters were in the time of the Prophet, okay. yeah, and that's in a museum in Birmingham. See, see, there you go. It's that some bits with in Islam. We 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 have a concept that no, if if one bit, like one drop of it is there's an error, then all of it's corrupted. No, I'm saying I don't know about the, the bits that I'm saying, yeah. but I'm saying. All, like you said, yeah, that it was written in the time of those prophets. Yeah. Yeah. 
Not right. Prophet, Prophet yeah. Muhammad, yeah. Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, that's right. And the way you were you the same way that the books were written by the people at the time that make up the books. Say that again, sorry? So, can't you use the same argument that some of the chapters of the Bible were written by those people that lived it? So, for example, which was which one was so, written? So, for example, Acts. The book of Acts, which talks about Saul, um, it was accounted by uh, a compilist of Saul, so someone who was with Saul. So it wasn't made up or fabricated or anything like that. So it's can I say it's the same thing? It's not the same thing because Why is it not the, same thing now? the reason is right. You know what language does Jesus Christ speak? Um, Uh, I make okay. yeah and that's a lost language right. yeah? um, the disciples spoke Hebrew mm -hmm. um, and then the Bible the oldest manuscripts of the Bible you have is in Greek, in Greek yeah. yeah so at best you could claim you have a translation or translation or translation mm -hmm. and by the way my apologies I don't like to go down this route yeah because no, 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 we had I'm a civil open. conversation yeah, does that yeah, make sense yeah, and I don't want to offend you or be rude I can never be offended because regardless that's not my, my intention because the thing is I'm not here to say this is wrong and change that. I'm saying that, look, really deep dive into why do I believe this? Right. Where is this belief coming from? Where is this faith coming from? Right. Yeah? Um, and then actually question that, okay, look, this is what I believe um, based on the scripture, or is it from, is it something that I've been taught, or is it something from my own desires? Right. So yeah? do you want me to answer that? Or is it just... Um, don't answer that because okay. <laughs> I want to join the prayer okay. um, and you're, you're short on time yeah. and so then just to quickly finish off in regards to preservation of the Bible so that, that, that's my point so that, that, that's how the comparison would be the same when it comes to the Quran the Prophet Muhammad he spoke Arabic uh, the disciples spoke Arabic the Quran's in Arabic it's been memorized in Arabic uh, so even if you got rid of all the books in the world, right? The Quran would be preserved because it's in the hearts of children as young as seven. Do you know what I mean? The Bible, Has someone memorized the entire Bible word for when word, cover to cover? Well, no, 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 no. Not the entire Bible word for word, but when I was young... Then that's the problem, isn't it? Doesn't make sense. You can memorize a few chapters, but can you introduce me to someone who's memorized the entire Bible I'm, I'm in the languages pretty, revealed? Honestly, I'm pretty sure there may be in the world. I'm talking about my own personal faith. And coming from someone, you're forgetting I just said, my mum's side of the family is Muslim. So when I was growing up, yeah. there wasn't really a strong... You know, I'm, I'm Muslim, my dad's a Christian. Yeah. So there wasn't really a strong, oh, pull or which way I was going. So everything I've learned, I've learned growing up and, and trying to grow. That's why I don't have all the answers for you. That's why I can't give you a counteract to everything you've done. You've probably learned the Quran since you were young. You probably can memorize it and yeah. recite everything by scripture. But this is why I say, my personal walk and my faith, which is why nothing's going to change my mind, is based on my encounters with God that I'm choosing to now. Yeah, yeah. Similarly, a Hindu person could say that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, people of our faiths can say that. Everyone can say that. But, but that's you, you're saying, saying the thing is, you your parents were Muslim, like mum, mum, mum side. side. Yeah. Now, my had were they practicing? My mum's side still practiced. My grandma practiced. Yeah. Now you have to remember. They're like first generation, your second generation, similarly myself. Like I was born in a Muslim family, but there was a lot of, especially being born in the West, I had a lot of questions that couldn't be answered by my parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? And I actually disconnected with my faith due to those reasons. Yeah. And then I had to reconnect from having an independent look into it. Because right now I'm having this conversation with you, um, the root of this conversation isn't it didn't stem from me trying to convert you into Islam no. or Muslim. It started from me being well grounded in my own belief. Yes. And it making sense to me. I'm like, wait, if this makes so much sense, right? Why don't I portray it to other people? Do you know what I mean? Um, and that, that's the narrative. That's where I'm coming from. So the way I look at it is like, look, your mom, um, I would question, with all due respect, like how strong her foundation was. Well, my mom personally, Islamic yes. knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, for my mom, I wouldn't know because my mom was a Christian when I was born. My mom converted to Christianity because she married my dad. Yeah. Um, my grandma, if you want to have a conversation with my grandma, you probably guys have a great conversation. She's right, she's yeah. right up there. Yeah. But for me, personally, like yourself, I had a lot of questions growing up. And 
I didn't maybe tap into as, mu as much like yourself as early as yourself. So yes, I've been a Christian my whole life, but in terms of when I actually can say, oh, I've started my walk, it's been much later. And I've walked away from Christianity and I've also come back to Christianity. So all these things, has happened much later. All the information I've given you is just based on what I am personally learning. Yeah. So if you come to me in another maybe couple months, a year, a conversation could be different. I could probably be like my uncle here and we can come back, but that's why I'm, it's easy. No, 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 your uncle doesn't come back with anything. Because the fact that my- back as in the sense that we can go back and forth for time. But it's, it's not even about coming back and forth. It's just about what, in your heart of heart actually kind of you can concile and make sense because the thing is right but, but if, if we believe something, something yeah but if i say for example the the sky is yellow yeah and you can tell me the sky is blue and yeah. i say no 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 the sky is yellow that's still me regardless of what you say unless i unless i personally feel a conviction to to be like, eh, maybe you're right, maybe it's kind of blue. I'm going to believe the sky is yellow. And that's the same way with me and my faith. Regardless if I don't have all the answers, if I can't say everything right now, but this you is know, what I believe. That's fine, mm -hmm. but that's not biblical. Yeah, um, five more minutes because she's going to go. Two, two, two. Yeah. two, 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 two minutes, two minutes. Let me just finish this part. I won't say anything else. All right, slang, bro. Um, okay, subhanAllah. All right, um, right now, do you know the narrative the Bible comes from? The narrative the Quran comes from, right? It's not believed because it makes sense to you. It's not because, oh, that's what your heart is saying. Does it make sense? No, 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 but then that's not, when you look into the Bible deeper, it's not like, oh, because everyone says it's not about being a religion, it's about having that connection, right? But then what, what does the Bible say? Does it make sense? So it's like, no. The bi I believe the sky is yellow and because it feels right to me and that's what I believe it must be right mm -hmm. but that's not what the Bible comes with does that make sense? No, I'm just saying in terms of, in terms of me being No, 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 because what you saying. believe what you believe is just because that's what you choose to believe that's because what that's what feels right to you yeah? but the Islam feels, but I'm saying based on what I've read so far yeah. I said I can't, I can't I don't have all the answers to say yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah I don't agree with what you're saying but based on what I've read so far and based on what I've studied so far it, there's nothing that's been like oh no I don't believe this anymore so everything I have read is the truth to me I'm really distracted because I need to go and pray it's but right. I'm going to um, well, let, let's do this Let's recontinue this conversation on another Saturday. Does it make yes. sense? Because yes. the conversation looks really interesting. Though. I wanted to, I wanted to like maybe like. Oh, oh. But, uh. You you can take over because the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, is just 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 just, say, just saying. Look, I have faith. This is what I believe, right? Um, you have to have faith. And I've been to with most Christians. That's where the conversation ends. Where it's like you just have to believe. Does it make sense? And I'm like, but that's not. Um, then why did God give prophets and messengers? Why did God give a scripture where it's like we don't refer to that? It's just about believing. Does that make but sense? Because then it's like why why is he um, gonna go to hell? Uh -huh. Because he doesn't worship, um, he doesn't believe in the Trinity. Uh -huh. But then the Holy Spirit hasn't guided him. Like Wait, then why is, I wouldn't I wouldn't know about going, someone going to hell and like that. But to have that conversation with him. <laughs> <laughs> Because the thing is, you can't believe that he's going to go to paradise because of the belief he has, because he doesn't believe in Trinity. He rejects it categorically. But belief, but the belief in Trinity is not the only thing. It's about, it's about God. Go on, have that combo. Oh, have a go.